me, Machine Shadows Ding, back with another Spooktober 2022 video. Now, this is day two of Spooktober, and you guessed it, we are reviewing the Hasbro Ghostbusters Plasma series, Dr. Peter Venkman, Ray Stance, Winston Zedmore, and Egon Spungar. Now, this is part one of two videos in the Ghostbusters line, as in part two, we are going to be reviewing Lucky Trevor Podcast, Goza, and even the builder figure of this wave, the Sentinel Pterodon. How exciting! Oh, I can't wait to get into these figures and even part two, because this is a great line. So, apart from that, let's get into it. Now, all of the Ghostbusters do share the same boot mold with the trousers tucked into the boots um, from Winston to Ray to Egon, apart from Venkman, who of course has the trousers out of the boots instead of being tucked in because, well, he's not very neat. Just like the legs, the bodies of the figures are also all the same mold, with the only difference being the in the like the Venkman, the Moving on to the race sound sculpt. The head sculpt features a glorious likeness to that mouth. And you can even see the grey sideburns in the hair, featuring the uh, eight that Dan Aykroyd has seen ever since 1984 when he first played the race stance. And um, was also um, clumsy <laughs> in some scenes. If you've watched the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Are you a god? No. Then. Well, here we have the sex appeal of the Ghostbusters. Winston Zedmore, played by Ernie Hudson. Once again, featuring another outstanding likeness to the actor, with Just Like Ray, featuring grey sideburns, because of course he's a little bit older ever since he first played Zedmore in the first Ghostbusters. I don't remember this job being so painful. I do. Again, another outstanding best sculpt from Hasbro. Now, here we have my personal favorite member of the Ghostbusters, Dr. Peter Venkman. Always cracking jokes. No matter how deadly the ghosts were or how dangerous the situations were. You got a lot of nerve crawling back to me. We could have been the most spectacular power couple, you know? my sense of fun and your personality. Now, here we have the brains of the Ghostbusters. Um, my Brother's personal favourite member. Dr. Egon Spengler. Rest in peace, Harold Ramis. You're such a great actor. And as you can see, once again from Hasbro, another beautiful likeness to Harold Ramis. And I think it honours him perfectly. It captures the likeness so good with that smile and even the glasses. And yeah, the glasses are actually moulded onto the head. And you think. It wouldn't work with the glasses being on the head, but it does. It really looks like Harold Ramis. And if my camera wasn't so blurry in the face, then you'd really get to see it. But if you ever get this in person, you would agree with me. It looks so much like him. And Hasbro should really be proud of themselves in this one. Because another outstanding head sculpt and another outstanding figure. Moving on to the gloriously painted Proton Cats. They all feature the same moulds, but with the red dots, they are featured in different places on each Proton Pack. And I think there are just a couple differences in the paint applications, but I think that was just because of the factory paint job. Just like the Proton Packs, the Utrona ones are just the same, with the same paint applications and fit in the hands the exact same way. But also, can I just say something? How cool does this look? All four Ghostbusters line up together. Oh, I just can't get over how cool that looks. And if you've seen Afterlife, yeah, it's even cooler there. 
Now, the proton ones can also be stored on the back in case you don't want the Ghostbusters holding them by just a little clip and sometimes it applies a bit of pressure but in the end you can get them on there. And just in case, you know, you didn't want the Ghostbusters holding them and you just wanted the Ghostbusters, you know, looking sort of casual. If you wanted the Ghostbusters to look even more casual, then you can actually take the entire prison pack off. As you can see with this little button here, you just unclip it with this little little tap, as you can see. And well, you can do it in many different ways, but I like to put the arms back. And you sort of just, you know, uh, take it off. You gotta put it around the arms and just I'm not doing this in a very easy way. But yeah, the broken pack comes off and you can see the peg there that actually goes into the back. Because there's a hole in the back for it plugs in. So the uh, proton pack can stay in there securely. And now you have an even more casual Ghostbuster. So you see, Hasbro does uh, offer a nice variety of looks for the Ghostbusters in case you didn't always want them running around with their proton packs and you just wanted them looking casual. So very cool, Hasbro, very cool. Now, how about we move on to the accessories of the figures? Because, yes, I nearly forgot to mention that the figures come with accessories. And if the proton ones and the proton packs and the figures themselves weren't cool enough. Three of the Ghostbusters come with the blast effect from the Chrono one. And, yeah, you're probably wondering why I said only three. Egon Splendor doesn't actually come with one. In fact, the purple one is what I've been using Egon. But the purple that actually comes with Lucky, we'll be looking at in the next video. But yeah, they all utilize the same mold with the inclusion of monkeys being purple instead of blue, like the others. But it's cool, and I included with Egon because, of course, if you've watched Afterlife, you know Egon was helping his granddaughter Phoebe to build a new Proton pack. Also, just for demonstration, these do fit on the Proton ones really nicely. Just a nice snug little fit where you just slide them on, and yeah, they uh, look really cool. Now, the Venkman's accessories, he comes with five parts. And if you've watched the original Ghostbusters and even seen the after credit scene of Afterlife, you know exactly the purpose these serve, and they are very, very cool. And they even put his hand very snug and very nice. Moving on to Ray's accessories, he comes with a nice map and the token spirit guard. Now the token spirit guide was mentioned in the first Ghostbusters and actually played quite a main role in the Ghostbusters video game and is featured in the new Ghostbusters spiritual video game. So very cool. The book also fits in Ray's hand very nicely. So for Winston's accessories, he comes with a classified newspaper, which has a couple of references to the Ghostbusters movies, mostly the 1984 one, but it can also fit in his hand very nicely, so that's cool as well. As mentioned earlier, there is a build for this way. Um, and the additional accessories of these figures are three of the pieces to the Sentinel Terror Dog. Now, with Dr. Venkman, we get the right leg, the Terror Dog, with Ray Stance, we get the left leg for the Terror Dog, and with Zedmore, we get the right arm And with Egon, again, he doesn't come with a builder figure. Instead, Egon was actually from wave one of the Ghostbusters line with all the other younger Ghostbusters. And Egon came with a back leg to the normal character. You know, the terrible that's all all thought that the uh, beast muscly terrifying Igatad that you see here. Now, finally wrapping up this review, what do I think of these figures? They're great. I mean, they're the Ghostbusters. They're great. They're phenomenal. They're outstanding. 
all of these figures. From the accessories, the light burst, the articulation, everything about these figures are just wonderful. And if you're a fan of the Ghostbusters, whatever movie, these are a must get. These figures are great. Um, they're, they're brilliant. They're amazing for any Ghostbusters fan, <clears throat> including me, out there. Um, and of course, you even get the Sentinel Terror Dog. So if you get all the other figures, you can build your own ghosts. But of course, for Hasbro, that's just a cheap way of making money. You know, if you want the ghosts, you have to get all the figures, spend lots of money. <laughs> yeah, Hasbro, we, we see what you're doing, Hasbro. Don't try hide it. Don't try to look all smug going, oh, look, we're just... We're just doing it so you can get all the characters. Nah, nah, nah. We know what you're doing. You're doing it so you can get all that nice moolah. But apart from that, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Have a spooky day. And I'll see you on day three of Spooktober. Goodbye. Are you a god? Ray? Oh, come on, Ray. Yes. Yeah, we're all gods. Yeah, I mean, we're all pretty dang special down here. On a personal note, I thought that we had busted up for good.